Hi, I'm Ryan at Midnight Solar. Today I want to talk to you about our BCM, Battery Capacity Meter. Uh, before I go into detail, I just want to get rid of that. I'm going to stick that down in there. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I want to talk about the BCM. I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby open. Got easy two-wire hookup, battery positive, battery negative. You can hook it into a junction box, into an e-panel, whatever the case may be. We do recommend a one or two amp fuse or circuit breaker on the battery positive. This gets mounted four holes, screw it to the wall. However you mount that, wire gets routed accordingly. The only user setting in the BCM is a jumper. The jumper allows you to select between AGM, gel, or flooded. I won't go into details on the jumper settings or the voltages that they adjust. I'll, that'll be in the manual. You can, uh, you can look that up in the manual. I will talk about how it works after that. The way this works, we get 10 through 100%. It's based on battery voltage. It reads the battery voltage. It gives us a percentage according to the battery voltage at that time. It does have some hysteresis in there. So if the well pump comes on, or whatever that case may be, the, the gauges don't jump around. They stay steady. It also has LED indicators over here. It has a green, or amber, and a red. And what this does is when the light is green, that tells us the battery has recently been filled. Less than a week ago, the battery's been fully filled. If it's yellow or amber, that means it's been a week, you know, at least a week since the battery's been full. If it's red, that means it's been at least two weeks since the battery's been full. And what happens here is this is voltage and time based. According to the jumper setting that you programmed, it will go up to a certain voltage, and once it maintains a certain time at that voltage, the green light will come on indicating the battery is full. Again, that can all be found on a table in the manual, and like I say, very simple two-wire hookup, and I'm sure you're wondering why we threw that one in the bowl of water. Okay, we threw that in the fish bowl because we wanted to prove a point. When we can formal code our circuit boards, especially the BCM, on the BCM what we do is we dip it in conformal coating. So it's completely sealed in conformal coating. That dries into a nice case or shell that seals the whole board. It makes it impervious to water. And as you can see, it's still working just fine underwater in the fishbowl. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.